Hello guys, hope you're okay, welcome back. This episode is going to be about me making my shower tray. As you can see, this is where my shower cable is going to go. But I didn't fancy forking out the prices for the, the standard shower trays that you can get. Um, they're quite high as well. So rather than forking out, say, £50 for a decent tray, I've decided to make my own. And what I've got, I've got an activity tray, which I got off Amazon. Um, this is the one that I ordered here. So, got that for the base. And also as well, if I do mess this up, this only costs about seven pound. So it's easy to replace, rather than trying to replace a whole shower tray. And then, also off Amazon, I've gone for a shower waste, which has pushes down and it seals it. So at least then no insects or any unwanted spiders can come in, etc. So that will go through the two. But then my plan is that will come down underneath the van and when I do use the shower, I'll have a bucket underneath to take the wastewater. So it's not going everywhere. But yep, so that's the plan. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna build this first before I put the flooring down and the insulation and stuff. So it stays lower. I will semi insulate underneath it and make sure it's um, like buried and stuff like that. But rather than doing the floor uh, with the insulation and losing an extra, what, 35, 40 mil, um, put it down first and then build the floor around it because then I can keep my height especially for the shower head as well because I want the shower head above me the shower head hopefully I'm going to try and build in here I don't know whether to have one of the ones that come overhead and then come down or whether just have the standard one that comes at you so I haven't decided that yet I will have a look but my plan is drill a hole through there and through the floor but first I need to put wood around the edge well the wood batter will be on the floor because uh, I can't put it on this but then I'm going to put a sheet of plywood on the back of here and then make my own ramp down to the shower waste my waste is going to be about 15 centimeters away from the edge so I've got a nice ramp along the edge still as well um, the ribs the waste is going to go between the ribs on the van so it's going to be even lower because the last thing I want is puddles of water and stuff like that but obviously depending on where the van is parked up we might not be even anyway so it might be a case of just get a squeegee and just squeegee the water down um, you could even get that in the standard shower tray if you're not parked level um, so yeah my plan now is to get that sorted so then I can do the insulation on the rest of the floor around that then because I'd sooner have the extra bit of height in here, a bit more room. There is movement in there. I'm hoping once I put the plywood on, it'll give it a nice secure finish. Then I'll uh, I'll seek a flex that down then onto the floor. Also as well, um, to make it level, because that's where the toilet is gonna go into, I'm gonna maybe look into getting like a duck board first thing is let's get that in place so i can get the insulation done on the floor so there we go i've put the wood around the edge that'll be the main frame for it and now i've got some hardboard which was off the sides of the van uh, so i'm going to use them up and i'm going to put them underneath the shower tray to give that a bit more support and then I'll do a full one and then I'll do one um, with just a bit around the edge 
to try and help form a ramp. So there we go, it's all bits done now. Let's grab my shower tray, the top layer, and then the bottom layer, which will help ramp it down slightly and give it a bit more support. So my plan is once the shower tray is in, it's gonna screw from underneath the van, so that will help pull the whole tray down. But I'm gonna seek a flex inside as well, and also seeker flex in between these pieces. Then I'm going to draw, screw these down into the wood and then also seeker flex that into place as well. Once that's in place, I'll then get the hole saw cut all the way through into the bottom of the van. I've already checked as well, nothing is under the van there. I've already checked that and double checked it <laughs> just to make sure. So let's get this done. So there we have it, that's now been screwed in, just screw the, uh, the top on, open closed, and I've been looking at it and it doesn't seem level um, on the slant, so I haven't got a small one but the wife has got a small spirit level. that there we go can't really see it properly there we go it's all pointing down perfect all of it is slanting down to the drain which is good Perfect. So there we go guys, the shovel tray is now done. The wife has got a small spirit level nice pink one and going around it it's it's really good really impressed with how the, the drop has done um, it's all solid everything on it is perfect so I've managed to save a lot of money by doing it this way uh, it's the size that I want it's a decent depth as well because the way I've done it <coughs> If we're away for a couple of weeks, we can use this to wash clothes. Um, we can fill it up um, about eight centimeters if we wanted to. Uh, wash our clothes, wash our bodyboards, stuff like that. Wetsuits, get everything washed in here, freshen everything up. So it is ideal. Um, it's a lot cheaper. We saved a lot of money by doing this. Okay, it's took me a little bit longer to fit, but then 
the waste pipe goes exactly where I want it to go, not predetermined by the shower tray. Um, in which case, I probably wouldn't have been able to put it where I did. I'd uh, have to have moved the whole thing. So I'm happy with this now. Um, so yeah, all I've done is the seven pound activity tray, 11.99 for the non overflow shower waste. Um, the baton around the edges was 25 by 20 mil baton that brought it up and then I ramped it down with some of the hardboard from around the edge um, I've done a big piece and then I've done um, like a frame piece which helped ramp it down so I'm really happy with that and then the shower waste obviously tightens up from underneath and pulls the whole thing down um, there is a bit of movement in this but because of how much it drops in uh, I've just ordered off Amazon again uh, a duck board and if you don't know what a duck board is it's basically um, like a tray that you stand on it's a flat board tray it's um, with slats I've ordered a PVC one so that fits perfect in here it's perfect size so that'll go in there and it'll keep the floor flat which is the bonus for when we have the, sh the toilet in here the toilet will stay flat so that'll get secured in here uh, we'll still also be able to use the drain because if the drain is that low it will sit beneath the, the duckboard so hopefully that comes this week but that is all done now so at least now I can carry on with the rest of the insulation and stuff like that and then once I start doing the build this will be the first thing that I do because the the rear the seats and the bed and the overhead cupboards will be connected to this so I'll be getting this done first this will be the main carcass thing that we build in the van and I can't wait because I really want to try it out I've got the cladding for it um, gone for like a, a concrete grey cladded, excuse me, um, PVC, yeah, PVC cladding which I'll have around the sides, at the front I'll probably have a door to come in and then a shower curtain across, um, so yeah, all good.